My first impression of Dubai is that it's been hit by the global financial crisis too. Instead of glittering skyscrapers, I find more and more construction projects that have been abandoned before being completed. Huge sculptures of reinforced concrete. Things don't look rosy for the spectacular cultural projects that have been planned either. Here at the lagoon, they planned to build a huge cultural project. Museum, theater, galleries, and the gigantic opera house of Saar Hadid. It would increase the cultural appeals 2015 of Dubai, but this project has also been canceled. Despite the economic downturn, the Arab Emirates entices people with art fairs, biennials and art prices, like here at Art Dubai, which is very close to a shopping mall for European tourists. Art Dubai is being held for the third straight year. Galleries from all over the world exhibit here with works by legendary artists like Francis Bacon and Pablo Picasso. But Art Dubai's main focus is on art from South Asia and the Middle East. And the target clientele are young people from the United Arab Emirates. But no one knows whether they'll be in the mood for spending, considering the financial crisis. I asked John Martin, the director of the art fair, whether the dream of turning Dubai into an art metropolis is in danger. I don't think anything stopped. I think that what, what's happened is that I mean, the bigger projects may have been put on hold, but I mean, what's interesting and what's driving Dubai and the art scene here are much smaller projects. They're the private galleries, uh, non-profit organizations, there's Tashkil and Shelter in the city, which are incredible. There's a real energy here. The German-Lebanese gallery owner, André Svia Semler, is one of the founders of Art Dubai. She specializes in Arab artists. Three and a half years ago, when the art fair opened, this was really unexplored territory. We were half the size we are now. There was only one hall, and I think it was a great idea, because we all thought, this will open new markets, develop new potential, and also develop new art production. After the initial euphoria and the extravagant dreams of rapidly establishing Dubai as an international cultural metropolis, Andres Fiesemler is now a little more skeptical. I don't think you can buy culture. Of course, you can ask architects to come here. You can ask the best artists in the world to come. You can put up buildings that will become landmarks. But is that culture? I think the dust has to settle first. We just have to wait. I think that it will take a few decades. At the moment, there's still enough money to award the Abraj Capital Art Prize. It supports the advancement of young artists and their work, like this Persian carpet. The winners are not well known, but with one million dollar, one of the richest art prizes in the world. Time to move on. Now I'm going to charge her to the biennial. It's one of the biggest culture events of the Arabian world. 25 kilometers away from Dubai, Sharjah is the most conservative of the Persian Gulf Emirates. The Emir loves the arts, so Sharjah has devoted itself to culture. Since 1993, it is focused on the achievements of contemporary Arab artists. They even poke fun at the sheikhs. And Dubai's construction boom is also on the agenda. Lamia Gargash comes from Dubai. She shows me her photographs, an intimate glimpse into the private lives of the Emiratis. That would have been unthinkable just a few years ago. There's a lot of young people out there now that have kind of um, are in, into the arts in all forms, like filmmaking is starting to create a huge buzz. Animation, definitely something that's been lifted um, and fine arts in terms of sculpting and jewelry design and things like that so definitely in all forms of arts it's been it's more acceptable now and there's definitely more interest in it than it was i could say four or five years back 
At sundown, I returned from Sharjah to Dubai, the Manhattan of the Orient. Now the art fair is really buzzing. These are the crucial hours for the gallerists. Andre Svia Semler can be content. Her art is selling well. We have already sold the three most important works we had at our stand. Really? Yeah. That fast? They're all going abroad, to New York and to Europe. I can't say where yet, and to museums. Booms, busts, we've, everyone's been through it over 30, 40 years. There's nothing new. There's nothing new in the Middle East, there's nothing new in the West. Um, but it, it's a bit like a kind of forest fire. A good, healthy forest needs a bit of a fire now and then, and, and now we're seeing the results. This year's Art Dubai is bigger than ever. And at the art fair itself, I felt little trace of the crisis.